Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video is the supplies or shopping list you're gonna need when you get a new chinchilla. <laughs> With me is little Kylo. Kylie. Kylo is an ebony chinchilla. Hey Kylo. Isn't he gorgeous? I have a video about him on my channel that will be linked in the description below. And as for Kylo, I'm gonna go put him back because I think I woke him up from a nap and he's not in a good mood right now. Okay, so in no particular order, let's go. First of all, you're gonna need a water bottle. So I'd highly recommend a water bottle over a water bowl because chinchillas have very dense fur and they can't get that fur wet. Because it is so dense, it'll take so long to dry, uh, you know, dry down. And then by that time they could get hypothermia. So, you know, with a water bowl, they're running around their cage, they're super energetic and super playful. It's, it can be so easy for them to just like smash into the water bowl and the water goes flying all over them. Chinchillas are crazy active, so that scenario is completely possible. When you pick a water bottle, just get one that with like the very tip must either be like metal or something, just not plastic. I don't know if you get ones where like the very tip is plastic. But chinchillas can chew a hole right through plastic, so if you get a plastic water bottle and then that like spout thing is plastic, they're just going to chew it apart. I personally have the All Living Things glass water bottle and then it's got like a metal pipe thing that they drink from. That's what I use and they, those water bottles haven't leaked for me. I know other people have spoken about them. You know, those all living things, water bottles leaking, mine haven't. But yeah, so, water bottle is number one. From that, we're going to need a food bowl. And we're going to need, like, maybe a heavy food bowl. Or something that attaches to the side of the cage. Or just something that they can't just, like, tip and throw over. Because I feel like if you, I don't know, if you were to put, like, food on a paper plate there, that paper plate would just flip and go over. And we're also not doing plastic, because like I mentioned, chinchillas can chew a hole right through plastic and it's just them chewing plastic and potentially ingesting plastic is not a good idea. So, anything else. We've actually got Kylo, he's got like a ceramic bowl, bubbles, star and pepper, they have wooden bowls, and then Daisy and Rosie have a... Um, like that stainless steel bird bowls that attach to the side of the cage. That's what we use. You know, there's some ideas for you. Next, you're going to need a large cage. Now I'm talking a big cage. And I don't want to say get the biggest cage you can find and afford. Because the biggest cage I can find is massive. The biggest cage I can afford is none of them. <laughs> you know, when, when you've accepted that you're going to get a chinchilla, you've decided it, you want a chinchilla. If you don't have money for that massive cage, you're going to need to save up a bit, okay? You're not in a hurry to get a new pet, okay? Take some time and save up to get a nice massive cage. Um, I have videos where I show my chinchilla's cages and I'll link those down below. And that you can use as a nice guide of what you want. I know a lot of people overseas use the, what's it, like a double ferret nation or a double critination. I don't know what the difference is. I just use those names, well I hear those names a lot. So, there you go. The next thing you're going to need is a high quality and good, healthy chinchilla food. Chinchillas have a very sensitive digestive system. Imagine where they come from. They come from the mountains where there's nothing to eat. You know, they, it's so high up there where they live. There's like barely any life. It's cold. There's just grasses available basically. So you're going to need a diet that's high in fiber and good for them. And um, none of these muesli mixes because your chinchilla will pick and choose what they want. Um, some good brands I would suggest is the Burgers chinchilla food. That's is available here in South Africa. If you are overseas, like in the US, I think the most popular there is the Red Oxbow bag. I don't know exactly what it's called. I'll put a picture here of it. There you go. Okay. 
And following a good healthy chinchilla pellets, which you don't feed much of um, in a day, they really don't need a lot of pellets in a day, what they do need an unlimited supply of is hay. And the best hay, preferably, is Timothy hay. Or if you can't specifically get Timothy hay, then just go and, you know, stick to grass-based hays. Now in the beginning, like I mentioned, chinchillas can't get their fur wet, so what kind of baths do they have? They do sand or dust baths, whichever you want to call it, sand or dust. So for this, I would recommend the chill dust, in, if they're overseas. If you're in South Africa, I will leave a link to some pages where you can get chinchilla sand. You can get from like SA chinchillas. And then I've also seen on a pet store website, there was also one for sale. I'll link down below, so go have a look. Next, you're going to want a little small tile or a little slab of granite or something that you're going to use. You put it in the freezer or the fridge and then you give it to your chinchillas in summer when it's really hot and they'll like to lay on it or roll on it. I have actually got a video of that on my channel, which I will link as well down. There's going to be a lot of links in this video. Um, so you can go look at that. It's super cute. Where Kylo and Daisy, I've given them a tile straight out the freezer and they went and rolled on it. It's really cute. The next thing you're going to want to get is like a hidey house or somewhere for them to sleep in at well during the day when they are asleep because chinchillas are most active dawn and dusk and night time. So just somewhere for them that can you know that they can hide in and sleep in during the day. Next what you're going to need is a lot of toys. You're going to need lots of wooden toys. Um, chinchillas, you want to keep them active and entertained and enriched, you know, lots of toys for that. Also, as they are rodents, their teeth never stop growing, so they have to chew on stuff to wear their teeth down, and that's another reason why they're going to need, you know, lots of toys. Also, just be sure that the toy you buy is safe for chinchillas. A lot of things are marketed towards chinchillas or towards other animals, but they aren't safe for animals, so just do your research, you know, just make sure that what you are giving them is 100% safe. And finally, the last thing you're going to need is a big necessity in my eyes, and that is a chinchilla exercise wheel. Finding a chinchilla exercise wheel is quite difficult because they are so large. The minimum diameter of your chinchilla wheel is 35 centimeters across. If you are in the US, you can get the chin spin, which I've heard is very expensive but well worth the money, so look into that. I have a whole video on chinchilla wheels, so go look, watch that for more information. But personally, I have... Who have I got? I've got Kylo. Yeah. So I've got a wheel that's 35 centimeters, and then I've got two wheels that are 45 centimeters. So that's what I go for. I personally love the 45 centimeter wheels. I just feel like it's so much space for them, and it's just so much more comfortable for them. But the 35, you know, it is, it meets the minimum requirements, that's good and healthy. And, um, yeah, go watch my chinchilla wheel video if you want any more information about that. Another thing you're going to need is something to line the cage with, some kind of bedding of some sort. There's lots of different options you can use when it comes to a lining or a bedding for a cage. Um, lots of people, including myself, use anti-pull fleece lining. That's very popular and it's also nice to... You know, get your own theme of the cage, choose what colours you like and whatnot, so that's a very good option. Um, you can also do tile, you can do wood shavings, but it must be aspen shavings. Some people say you can do the pine shavings. It's a bit controversial whether you can use pine or not. Just go with the aspen shavings. So that's my list of all the things you're going to need when you get a new chinchilla. I'm going to have a lot of links in my description to places where you can buy chinchilla products, um, to other videos I've mentioned in this video, um, to just a lot of stuff. And go take a look there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!